What's up YouTube? Community Crunch 274 has just landed a bit later than expected and they've brought a lot of stuff to the table. There's a new map, new dino and they're saying that the community can pick a dino as well or create a dino even for them to pick through to put into the new map. Explore new heights and hidden depths in this expansion, 150 square kilometer map where survivors will encounter new biomes, challenges and mysterious ruins. Whether it's exploring the valley of waterfalls, setting up your treehouse home in the redwood forest, getting down and dirty in the vast swamps, diving deep underwater, climbing snowy mountains or caving, there's something for every survivor out there. Arriving with the map will be three brand new real world creatures including the Armegasaurus and one chosen explicitly by the art community Lost Island and its creatures will be a free DLC coming to Steam, Epic Games, Xbox, Playstation later this year. Introducing everyone's favourite spiny shuropod, the aggressive Armegasaurus. A description of the dino we're getting of all the creatures in Shuropod family are Megasaurus Titanicus is likely the most unique looking. It sports two parallel rows of dorsal spines down the length of its neck, back and tail. Through the neck spines are significantly longer than the back or tail spines. These spines are a remarkable adaptation giving our Megasaurus unmatched control of its body temperature. These spines store both extreme heat and extreme cold effectively, allowing our Megasaurus to live comfortably in any environment. Unlike most shuropods, our Megasaurus is very prone to violence, attacking most predators and humans on site. I suspect this behaviour developed alongside the dangerous spines it uses as weapons. Domesticated, once finally tamed, it's no surprise that our Megasaurus spines are its best feature. If removed early, their thermal storage becomes erratic, which is perfect for catalyzing sap development in many trees. Some tribes, of course, adapted this thermal quirk for combat by having Omegasaurus eject a spine before it sheds naturally. The freezing slash warming waves that emanate from the spike play havoc with armor in the area. Interestingly, simple armor is barely affected while more complex armor is more heavily affected. Submit your creature idea. Do you have your own idea for what prehistoric creature should be added to Lost Island? We're looking for your input. Check out the thread below for guidelines. So if there's a Pacific creature you'd like to see in Ark Survival Evolved, then you can go to their website and the submission form is there. Next there has been another enforcement update, so be sure to go over to Wildcard and check that out or use their Twitter to find out what the enforcement changes are. And lastly, there is an EVO event. This weekend an ARC Evolution event is active on all platforms from now through June 28th with the following EVO perks 2 times breeding, egg hatch speed, imprint and maturation, taming, harvesting and XP. Anyway, this is the end of the video, if you found it helpful in any way please leave that like, please subscribe to my channel it really helps me out and I'll see you on my next video.